Well, because of what went on before coronavirus, um, with the terrible cancer with my daughter, for me, coronavirus wasn't so bad. I'd already come out of a seriously dark place. And for me, the virus was nasty, obviously, a lot of deaths throughout the whole world, which is terrible. Um, but again, because of what happened to me before, my dying bride hadn't even, we, had, we stopped playing live in 2017 and we haven't been back on stage yet. So when the pandemic arose and lockdown happened, that was merely an extension of us still not performing live. So it wasn't a big shock. We, it, when the, when lockdown happened, My Dying Bride didn't just stop playing live. We'd already stopped playing live. So it was a continuation. It didn't hit us like everybody else. Um, at the beginning of uh, 2020, we released uh, the, the Ghost of Orion, and that came out just before our official lockdown here in the UK. And that allowed people to still go to the store if they wanted to and buy it. But I guess most people purchase online these days anyway. So that wasn't really affected. And we spent most of 2020 promoting the album. And, and it was great. I started doing interviews in January 2020. And I'm still doing them now. So there's been a, a real, a massive amount of interest. So despite not treading the boards and playing live in 2020, my Dying Bride were very much in everybody's faces with promoting things. We launched a beer and then we had a second EP released towards the end of the year. Peaceville Records re-released Evinta, our classical album. Uh, so we had a really, really very prosperous year, but a lot of our friends didn't. They got hit really hard. Bands who tore a lot. And to be honest, Bruce, in a good year, we might do 17 or 18 gigs for the whole year so it it would never have affected us greatly anyway but i know there's a lot of bands out there friends of ours and they will do 100 shows 150 shows a year that's their income that's how they make their money that's how they pay their um all their bills and for them this is terrible they've they've never spent so much time at home and they're crawling the walls they don't know what to do with themselves and their money has simply stopped and some people can't even get government benefits because being in a band is classed as a job. And just because you're not playing live doesn't mean you're no longer in a job. So you can't claim any government benefits. So um, I know there's a lot of people, they are in real dire straits at the moment. But for My Dying Bride, just because of what happened before, it's not a big deal for us, coronavirus. You know, it's, I'm, not, I'm not bragging about that. It's, you know, circumstances... Ours were very different, and it meant we've managed to sail our ship through the virus with a lot of ease. We've got away with it, and a lot of people are sinking fast, and I really feel for these guys.